won't call a doctor There's a fever going round Write me a prescription For the cure that can be found Hello again folks Just came out for a few hours In between downpours Into this bit of a woods area Just switched on First signal It looks like a silver ring Broken there wasn't deep at all. I'll check it out, see if it's silver when I get home, but it looks like. Okay. Different location. Turn this plug over here, you can see the print. You can see that it's a silver yet. 1946. Great condition. Alright, carry on. Okay, next find. We're still in the old. I think it's another George Six Six ones going off the signal. We have a dodgy signal, 12 kilohertz between. Flickers between 60, 60, what, 67 maybe, and 72, 73. There you go, 1939. Second of the day. Only dug about six holes. Okay, see if I can get the extra okay? So I thought I'd do is just a, a little mid break while I have a drink and a Mars bar. Show you me fine so far. Been here about an hour. Two silvers, two, four, five pennies, two half pennies, modern penny, and trippings. It's not bad for an hour, is it? These give audible signal, these. Bounces about between, I don't know, 68 and 75. Never the same going over it twice. Maybe that's why I've been missing them all this time. I say missing them, a lot of them I've dug accidentally. I've dug a, a, a penny signal and there's been one of them in the hole as well. So, I'll carry on, give it another hour. See what happens. Alright, catch you in a bit. And for those of you who like to see the junk, there you go. Bottle tops, ring pull, ring pull, part of a ring pull, part of a ring pull, bottle top, down. I'm not sure. There's something on there, but it's junk. And all of that will be disposed of the way it should. Catch you the next. And there's the Atric, I think. Yeah, it is George V. George V silver shilling. Pretty worn on the other side. Badly worn on the other side, I should say. 
and badly corroded on that side. I'll see what I can do with it. Get back to you. And there's another signal in the hole. There's a little bit of green on that chilling, so I'm expecting this to be a, a couple of pennies, maybe. One there, one here. Let's have a look. There's one there. the silver's been on it. Let's see if there's anything else. Something there. There's another penny. I think that's it. That's my probe false from now. They do that after a year. Just to put up with it. All right, catch you in a bit. Okay. And the sixpence here. Oh, yeah, another sixpence. Put that for a print. Perfect. George six, as expected, 1946. Okay, let's carry on, eh? Okay, just found this. Close to the footpath. Looks like another silver sixpence, but it's uh, it's knackered. Crusty up. I'll clean it up. Get some pictures. All right. Next signal, five inches down maybe, a thimble, never expected to find that yet, I'm not sure if it's silver or not, might be just an aluminium one. I'll clean it up when I get in, but you know any good you'll see a picture of it if it's crap aluminium you won't catch you at the next hey folks different day different dig different place uh, in this budded area yeah, it's got known history going back to 14th century but it's in a city so there's a lot of trash about but I have managed to find another George six six months. Let's get that one a good clean. Nineteen thirty nine, I think it is. Okay. My first pre decimal coin, a couple of two peas, a couple of one pences, a few bits of trash. Alright, let's carry on.
Next find. Look at that. Don't you just love that? Some kid with the big gutted. Name on it. Too. Gambia. Here you go, Gambia. It's for uh, shooting elephants. Alright, set up.